How's it going everybody? Brandon J here from Melda Production and in this video, I'll show you how to set up M-Track Align in Studio One. M-Track Align is a powerful audio alignment tool built on ARA2 technology designed to automatically sync the timing of two or more audio tracks with identical or similar patterns like a lead vocal and backing vocals or a video dialogue track and its dubbing. Manually aligning these can be a time-consuming process, often taking hours or sometimes even days depending on how many tracks you're working with. For reference, I'm using Studio One 7, the latest version of Studio One at the time of this recording. However, everything that I'll show you should still apply to future versions of Studio One as well. So, let's get into it. We are now in Studio One and as you can see, we have three takes of the same vocal line from a song. At first glance, the waveforms look almost identical, but if we zoom it in, you'll notice subtle timing differences between them. Also, notice some parts are slightly louder and more pronounced than the others. But we won't be looking into those as we are more concerned with the timing. In Studio One, ARA plugins like M-Track Align must be added via event effects. You don't insert them the same way you would with compressors, EQs, or reverbs. There are three main ways to insert ARA plugins in Studio One. First, right-click the audio clip, go to Event Effects, and select the plugin. The nice thing about this is that you can select multiple clips and apply M-Track Align to them all at once. The second method is through dragging and dropping from the browser. You can also select multiple clips then drag and drop it once. The third method is not the most convenient. In the Track Inspector panel at the bottom, you'll find an option to enable Event Effects, where you can insert ARA plugins like M-Track Align. This method is a bit of a hassle, especially if you have a large session with lots of tracks. For this demo, I'll just use the first method since it's the most efficient. Notice that it follows the same hierarchy from your DAW. The interface is straightforward with just a few parameters to consider. The purple highlighted clip is your guide track. By default, this is the topmost clip in the hierarchy, but you can change it easily by clicking on any other clip inside the plugin. The precision control determines how much the follower clips will conform to the guide. For vocals, I usually set the global precision to 50% to preserve a natural human feel without making things sound robotic or overly processed. You can also fine-tune it per clip. For example, I could set one clip to 59%, another to 40.5. Just note that tweaking the global precision afterward will reset the individual values. Let's go ahead and set everything back to 50%. I'm going to play it back so you can hear how it sounds before alignment. In the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning, oh baby, your body is calling. It just wants me right back. Now it's time for the big reveal. Look at how much of the follower adjusts their timing to match the guide. If I zoom it in, the warping becomes more apparent. It subtly stretches and compresses sections to get everything locked in. So again, in contrast, this is how it sounded before. In the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh baby, your body is calling. It just wants me right back. And this is how it sounds now. In the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning Oh baby, your body is calling It just wants me right back You can clearly hear the improvement in timing and clarity. It just sounds tighter and more cohesive. And finally, once you're satisfied with how everything sounds, you can render the event effects to the clip. This step is optional but it helps free up CPU resources during larger sessions. And that brings us to the end of this video. For Mac users, keep in mind to use the VSD3 version of the plugin in order for the ARA to work. And if you don't have M-Track Align yet, there's a 15-day trial available in our site. This video should be enough to get you started with M-Track Align in your DAW. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll get to them as soon as we can.